Welcome to Blackmoor Camping and Caravanning Club site in the Malverns. It's a lovely February sunny day and we're here to look at seven medium wheelbase and short wheelbase van conversions for the latest Witch Motorhome Ultimate Showdown test. This is the Adria Twin 500S, the smallest Adria Twin yet. It's on the short wheelbase Fiat Ducato, and yet it's a full four berth as far as seats are concerned. Come and have a look inside. As you can see, it is indeed a full four seater. Travel for four in, in safety. And it's got two sliding doors. The sliding door on this side has an optional fly screen fitted to it and the sliding door on this side has a slide out step. It's a standard Fiat Ducato cab. Uh, the stereo is yet to be fitted by a, a, your supplying dealer. Both cab seats swivel, so you've got a nice four seater lounge with a table in the middle. And then at the back, we've got the kitchen and a washroom area with shower and toilet. Let's go and have a look. It's a step down into the kitchen, so you've got a bit more headroom here, which is exactly where you need it. There's a three ring hob and combined with a sink unit and there's a worktop extension all in gloss white so it's easy to keep clean and there's a compressor fridge with the door hinged on the right hand side for some reason maybe it's to aid access as you as you come out through the, the back doors there's the useful drawers here as well much easier to, to access than than lockers and there are overhead lockers as well so a good little compact kitchen unit with plenty of storage as well this is the clever bit because this is the washroom. There's a bifold door here that just eases back. And then in here we have a swivel bowl toilet and a drop down sink with a vanity unit above it. Now for showering, you need to fold the door back here, pull out this section here, and there you have the shower tray and there's a couple of curtains to pull round and you've got a very decent shower area. The beds are actually quite easy to make if you just want two singles. The squabs on each seat fold over like this and then there's a lever adjustment and that backrest drops into position. And that's not a bad size bed at all. Traditional values and a super high specification. That's what this auto sleeper symbol is all about. It's been around for a long, long time now, but this is the 2015 version. And as you can see, it's got a slightly different uh, factory fitted high roof to it. And there are a few tweaks inside that we ought to have a look at as well. Come and see. It's very much a, an auto sleeper look here, and it's one that the owners love, certainly. There's also a choice of upholsteries and you've got a nice roomy lounge at the front with a settee, a single forward facing travel seat that can also convert into a bench and both these cab seats swivel round. It really is a high specification in this auto sleeper symbol, uh, none more so than the kitchen here where you've got a, a good run, worktops either side, a proper cooker with splash guards here, it's three gas rings and a combined grill and oven. There's a microwave oven up here, an extractor unit here, the sinks alongside, the fridge is easy to access. It's a good kitchen. It's the washroom where the symbol kind of shows its age. It's a little bit of a mix between old and new. There's a Dometic toilet with ceramic bowl, very modern. And yet there's an old fashioned tip down basin here with a plastic mixer tap. And an equally sort of traditional vanity unit set above it. But it does save space. At night time, this makes a single bed, this makes a single bed, 
but the cab seats are not used in the bed making. So as you can see, this is a rather short bed and this one isn't much longer. Unusual, eh? It's a high top motorhome with an elevating roof. It's the Heimacar Serengeti and it really is a full four berth. It's a one piece mattress on a slatted base and it's really rather roomy up here. There's uh, ventilation to the front, ventilation to the side and an acrylic window piece on this side. Yeah, it's good. It's actually going to be better than the bed downstairs. It's Fiat's normal cab, but there's a few extra bits and pieces on here. Thanks to Heimer, it's got Hill Start, it's got Traction Plus. Uh, it's also got some rather nice upholstery. And I particularly like this table here that flips and folds away down the side here when you don't need it. Obviously this is the rear travel seat, but um, it's a little bit on the narrow side. I'm not the biggest of guys. Maybe a couple of kids would be okay here. The one thing it does have is adjustable head restraints actually quite a big kitchen in here, especially in the context of a, a medium wheelbase van conversion. But having said that, there are only two gas rings. There's no grill, there's no oven, but there is a, a sink here and there's a nice bit of worktop between. And then there are these excellent drawers underneath. This is the cutlery one at the top, nice and easy to get at. And it's got a soft close mechanism. This is the weirdest setup for a bed I think I've ever come across in a motorhome. And this is the other double bed. It's quite actually quite easy to make because there's only three mattress pieces, but you're on top of the kitchen. Just moving towards the back now, and there's a compressor fridge here opposite the kitchen. It's an 85 litre capacity model, so it's a lot bigger than most that you get. And then we get to the washroom, which is here and here. Don't worry about this hole. When the back door's shut, it's, it's clear and you actually get a window onto the washroom, which is very handy. The washroom also has a swivel bowl toilet. It's got this weird sink that actually acts more as a, a soak away than anything else because it won't retain water. And there's a vanity unit and a curtain so you can shower in here. There are some strange aspects to this Heimer car, but actually it's a really brave attempt to offer full four berth accommodation in such a short vehicle. There's some real clever touches here. Ford's new transit van is starting to emerge as a serious contender to Fiat's Ducato, which has dominated the motor market for a number of years now. So it's probably no surprise to see that Mervy has turned its attention to the Ford as well, uh, here with this Pimento version. It's um, a standard Mervy layout inside with a large lounge and a, a useful kitchen and even a washroom at the back. Perfect touring for two people. An easy opening sliding door here. It goes all the way back and look at this for easy access to Mervy's signature lounge. It's a lovely settee with a high back and it's also incredibly comfortable. It's a lovely place to be just to look out, enjoy the view. There's space on the floor in front of you here. So if you've got a pet, say, it's, it's ideal. Your dog can move about and not get in the way. Ford's latest dashboard really is a, a, a nice one. It's, uh, it's, it's got uh, lots of kit, there's steering wheel controls, there's lots of options, including DAB radio, which, which Mervy have fitted here as an extra. Both cab seats swivel. This one doesn't really do much help unless you want to put your feet up. 
Um, and then you've got this, but this, the rest of this lounge really is lovely. It's, uh, it's roomy, it's spacious. You don't feel like you're hemmed in. It's not often you get a sink with a drainer in a van conversion, but Mervy have managed it really rather easily here. They've got an extensive kitchen worktop and uh, with an extension there, good locker space above with Mervy's signature solid locker doors, excellent cupboards below. And then here across the back, we have the hob and the fridge. Now, Mervy offer a lot of choice here, so you can vary the, uh, the hob that you want and the fridge size that you want, whether you want a grill and an oven or even a microwave with grill. It's all there on the options list and it's really just up to you what you want. It's a recognisable Mervy washroom as, as used in a number of other models, but that's not to say it's not very good, it's actually excellent. There's a Dometic ceramic bowl toilet in here, Mervy's own sink, it's bijou, it's compact, but it's actually very good. There's a bit of an art to making a Mervy bed, but it's actually quite straightforward. Pull this section out here. In case you're wondering what this bag is, there's your duvet and pillows in here. And then you pull out the bed section like this. And it simply drops into place. And it's quite easy once you've got the hang of it. Black is a rather unusual choice of colour for a motorhome of any shape or size, but this Shire Conversions Phoenix M is, is of course available in any other Fiat colour. On a Fiat Ducato medium wheelbase and it's a little bit of luxury for two on wheels. Let's go and have a look inside. It's Fiat Ducato in medium wheelbase format for this uh, Shire conversion and because Shire is an independent producer selling direct, you can have pretty much any choice of cab option that you want. Lovely swivel cab seats here that are pr really professionally trimmed in leather uh, to go with the, the rest of the lounge. We'll see in a minute how this settee is rather short, but it extends out right into the doorway to make a, a, a good sized transverse double bed. Um, but meanwhile, in daytime mode, you've got a, a, a nice roomy lounge. This really is a superbly equipped kitchen, starting with this worktop here. Then there's a sink with a neat little drainer, a cooker with a three ring hob and a combined oven and grill. There's actually a TV above here as well, which you can watch TV from the lounge. Um, really good lockers with excellent hinges. See how the door is flush with the, the ceiling. It's not drooping down. You're not going to catch your head on it or anything. And then perhaps the star of the kitchen is this cooler for your, your bottles of, of wine or, or whatever. Seven bottles it'll take in total. And then on this side, good size fridge and a, a, a good height microwave oven. Easy to get at, easy to see how your, your cooking's doing. And more storage here, including a really large slide out waste bin. It's really good, really well thought out. The washroom is a real strong feature of this uh, Shire conversion. There's pr probably about six foot of, of headroom here. It's got Shire's own sink on this side and then a bench toilet on this side. And then there's actually two curtains to pull round for when you're showering. They're a bit clingy. They're probably not the best for, for as far as showers are concerned, but there's a good amount of space in here.
Vantage is still a relatively new name in the world of motor and manufacturing, but they're an independent company and have soon managed to establish themselves as a producer of real good quality two berth motor caravans, usually based on something like Fiat's Ducato. And here we have the medium wheelbase MED. It's the uh, rear lounge layout here in the MED and it's one that British motor caravanners especially really like. You've got this U-shaped settee uh, which converts really easily into a transverse double bed. There's extra cushioning here as well. We've got a TV and a stereo here and uh, great views out to all three sides. What starts off as looking like a rather compact kitchen actually delivers a whole lot more. Worktop here. Worktop here, triplex cooker from Thetford, brilliant cupboard that opens out and there are proper solid drawers in here. And then overhead we have these lockers with real superior quality hinges in them. And the fridge is an 85 litre compressor model. Interestingly, although this is only a two berth, Vantage make uh, much of having the facility to swivel both cab seats here and stick a table between the two. So you've effectively got two lounges. Bearing in mind that's only a, it's only a, a medium wheelbase Ducato, that's quite some feat. Vantage calls its washroom more of a wet room and, and you can see, soon see why. It's fully lined. There's a trigger operation for the shower. There's a, a Thetford bench toilet and Vantage's own molded sink which is deeper than it looks actually. There's also a vanity unit in here and just enough space to have a shower. But really it's, 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 a, it's a toilet room plus. Vantage are made making the bed as easy as possible. It's just like this. And there we have a proper six foot by four foot double bed sleeping across the van. Wellhouse Leisure have had fantastic success over the last couple of years with their Ford Transit conversion called the Terrier, which is a, an elevating roof model on the, on the small Transit Custom. So what have they done? Gone one step bigger. Ford's Transit has, has had lots of plaudits recently in, in its latest guise. Wellhouse built exclusively on the Trend, which is the, the extra specification model. Um, but what makes this a bit more special is this is a full five-seater. Three people can sit on the back seat here and there's loads of legroom or you can move the whole seat forward and be up, up there with the cab for conversation. Volkswagen fans might want to look away now because this latest Ford Transit dashboard really is a, a, a state-of-the-art bit of kit. It's got loads of equipment, steering wheel controls, excellent stereo um, and it's, it really is well kitted out. Bearing in mind this is still uh, the first model off the production line and there's still some tweaks to come but you can see the process of making the bed here is that isn't too bad. Pulling this forward, folding that section over, this section follows on and then this final section falls into place. Makes a nice flat double bed with space around the side for changing. Uh, you could even squeeze past if you wanted to on your way to the toilet room. Well, that's the travel section and the lounge. Let's see what's at the back of this terrier. One quick push and there's plenty of room to get through. The kitchen extends around the back here. It's actually quite roomy. Um, just one little point to note that uh, because Wellhouse used Ford's high roof, there's not a lot of standing room here and there's not a lot that they can offer it more in terms of that. I'm five foot six, so I'm happy. But the rest of the kitchen, we've got a sink here and then a two ring hob at the back with an extractor unit over it, a grill and an oven and good locker storage, a compressor fridge 
and locker doors that actually hinge downwards, which is unusual, but as you can see, it makes things so much easier to get at. You might be expecting a full washroom, but uh, I think Wellhouse have actually been quite sensible here. This is just a toilet room. So there's a Dometic ceramic bowl toilet here and a little bit of storage, but there's space to use it without trying to add a sink or a shower or anything else. So practical.